Mae here. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. As you guys can see, we are going to cook another vegetable dish. And the dish that we're going to cook for today is adobong gulay. So these are all the vegetables that we are going to cook. But first, I'm using the pork belly. Um, if you guys don't want to use the pork belly or you guys don't eat pork, you can use other meat like chicken or beef. It doesn't have to be pork belly. Over here, we have some fresh whole black peppercorn. We also have some bay leaves and lemon. And of course, our nor chicken broth mix. Over here, we have one head of garlic, red onions. I use two regular size of the red onions, guys. And um, we have here some ginger. And the rest of our ingredients, some rice vinegar, some black soy sauce, and this one has a mushroom flavor, the regular soy sauce, and the oil that we're going to use for today is the chili garlic oil. This is what I made. It's on my channel, so if you guys want to learn how I made my uh, chili oil, please check on my channel. And for the vegetables, we have the cabbage, the baby bok choy, the broccoli and we have the long beans long string beans or we call it sitaw these are all the vegetables that i i love to eat and these vegetables here guys are packed of nutrients and vitamins and minerals especially the broccoli and the cabbage these are one of the most healthy vegetables that you guys can eat i was looking for eggplant but i didn't see any eggplant uh today so oh by the way guys this is the bottom part of the broccoli do not throw them because you can still eat them okay let's start our cooking 101 hey friends the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put at least two tablespoon of the chili garlic oil that's good enough the reason why I only put a little bit amount of oil is because the pork belly creates its own oil. So, we don't want our dish to be too oily. Alright? So, we're just going to wait for the uh, chili oil to warm up a little bit and then we're going to add our pork belly. Guys, with the chili oil, it smells so good right away. Alright, so we're going to start um, sauteing our pork belly. All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Is it clear? Yes, it's very clear. Nice and clear. Today, I'm going to do unboxing as well. I bought, um, what do you call that? You know those big ring lights? I got them a couple of years back, like, Four years ago when my dad was still alive, but uh, I didn't um, had the chance to open it. So I'm going to do the unboxing today and I'm going to show you guys the kind of ring light I bought. It's a big one. It's nice. It will add like, you know, um, extra light when I, uh, when I do my cooking. Alright, so we're just going to give this pork belly a little bit of time to extract its natural oil and then I'll show you guys the next step okay friends now we have some nice flavor oil look at that it's not much you know so we're going to saute our ingredients the first thing we're going to saute is the garlic but for some of you that uh, prepares to uh, saute the Onions, that's okay too. It doesn't matter. They're all going to get cooked anyway. So garlic. Mm, smells very good. And then ginger. And then the red onions. Okay. 
And then we're also going to add the bay leaves and the fresh ground black peppercorn. Mix. And then we're going to leave them uh, for about two minutes. So this time we're just going to wait for all of the ingredients to extract their natural flavors. Yeah. So let's cover them, okay? Okay, there you go. And then we wait. Okay, friends, after two minutes, let's check. Ooh, nice. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to season it. I'm going to start with my lemon. Mm -hmm. mm, it smells so good, you guys. Okay. And one more. You guys will love this dish. I can guarantee you. The same as the cabbage that I did two days ago. Oh, it's so good. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of the Nor chicken broth mix. It's one tablespoon. There. Some dark soy sauce, which has a, a mushroom flavor. the regular soy sauce guys like i said like i mentioned in most of my videos that when you season your your food you have to please your palate because this is the only way you will enjoy your food if i if i say one tablespoon of this two tablespoon of that but if it doesn't taste your palate it's no good so all the time you have to please your palate that's the only way you can taste the, the good flavors of food. And it's true. Because my palate will not be the same like yours, or yours will not be the same like mine. So you guys have to learn how to adjust your seasoning. Okay, now with this one, we're going to saute first the hard ones, which is the bottom part of the broccoli. The string beans. And the cabbage. Ooh, so good. You see that, guys? It's so beautiful. <laughs> so we're just going to cover this one for about two to three minutes. And then we're going to put all the remaining vegetables like the broccoli and the baby bok choy. Okay, let's cover them back. And we wait. Okay, friends, after five minutes, let's check one more time. Oh, it creates its own sauce. Okay, friends. Oh, wow. All right. We have to make sure that we don't overcook our veggies, okay? So this way, all the nutrients will still be intact. Okay, friends, maybe we're still gonna give them at least two more minutes, okay? Because our string beans still a little bit hard. And then the uh, cabbage, same thing with the cabbage. So let's cover it back for another two more minutes. And then we're going to cook the rest of our vegetables. Okay, friends, after two minutes, let's check. Yeah, I think this one is ready now. 
Okay. Next. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's ready. Now we're going to mix our broccoli. Mmm. I don't really want to overdo the broccoli and the bok choy. I like them uh, with a little bit of crunch when I eat them. So that's why I always make this one last. There. Good vegetables to eat. Ooh, it's so good. And it smells very, very good. Okay. So let's cover them for five minutes. And then... I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay, friends. This is our finished product. This is our adobong gulay with pork belly. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you guys are not subscribed on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my new upcoming videos. And guys, I also have another channel which is Princess May's Corner and uh, my niece channel creative girl 07 please do subscribe on those channels as well i really really appreciate it okay guys see you guys on the next video and if you guys have any requests on any food that you guys would like me to do or to cook please just send me a message thank you guys again for watching and have a blessed day everyone and may the good lord bless us all